As gardeners, we're often pushing the envelope of what we can grow in our landscape. We might go to the nursery and find a plant and not know the ideal location that we will have to plant it, but we go ahead and purchase it in hopes that we'll be able to grow it. We often talk about microclimates, and microclimates will allow us that little bit of variable uh, location to maybe push that envelope a little bit further. Here on the north side of our cottage, we've got a little bit of a microclimate. We've got a cool, uh, shadier location that tends to stay a bit more humid. So in this spot, we're able to grow a few more shade plants that we might not be able to grow in another part of our garden. Here we've got some ginger and some heuchera and then also our Japanese maple that does not do well in our Oklahoma sun. Now, microclimates are kind of identified as an area that is smaller, um, but they're often influenced by either a building or a wall, and they affect the humidity and also the temperature and the sunlight in those areas. Now here, this is a cooler, shadier location. Now the reverse is true on the other side of the building. You might also be able to identify a location that tends to dry out in your garden, one that you have to water more often, and sometimes that's influenced by the soil as well. On the south side of our uh, facility here, I wanted to point out something, and this is a tropical called Orange Bells Tacoma. Now, this is a tropical plant, and we're not going to be able to overwinter it being on the south side of our house, but I think it really illustrates how there is a microclimate here. We had a freeze the other day, and you can see this plant being hardy down to just 25 degrees. The left side of it that is more exposed to the air clearly has died. The right side of it looks completely untouched. So this just kind of shows you how just a few feet can make that microclimate and allow you as a gardener to push the envelope just a little bit in your plant choices. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussions.